I think most parents want to be great parents, but there's a body of knowledge about how best to promote a child's healthy growth and development, and those little ones don't come with a set of instructions when they're born. And families who are under a great deal of stress due to poverty and other risk factors, they don't always have the connections to the information, and they simply aren't aware of what they ought to be doing uh, to promote their child's early learning, their early development. It's quite amazing to see how things have changed over the last 30, 40, 50 years in the field of early childhood development. Up until the 1960s, hardly anyone spent much time academically thinking about young children, and there wasn't a sense of urgency. There wasn't an understanding that if we did not act quickly on behalf of very young children, especially children growing up in poverty, that those children might suffer for the rest of their lives as a result of this. 40% of our children in Nebraska are at risk of not succeeding in school. At risk means that there are income issues in the family, language issues, difficulty at birth, and or family uh, parents not getting a very high level of education. Those all place a child at risk for not having a good school experience or maybe even not completing school. This is a big deal. I would ask everybody to say, what would you want for your child? And what you want for your child should be there for every child. If we are going to have a vibrant, successful community and state. I believe there's a tremendous urgency to what we're doing with children. Today, there are children being born, and tomorrow, they're growing older, and the next day, a day older than that. And if we say, well, we're gonna get to this, I mean, this is something down the road. This is something we'll do within five years. We're too late for that child. And that doesn't feel right to me. Uh, if people truly understood the results of early childhood development and looked at the statistics and the data, how could you deny it? I mean, how could you turn your back on those children and realize that if you don't have those programs available, we are programming this child to fail. And I object to that. I think it's wrong. And I think we need to step in and address those particular issues.